Okay, we got a little bottle reveal going on. Here's a few of the bottles I started cleaning. I uh, still have a pile to clean. But uh, I heard Jam House uh, talking about a specific bottle. That would be this one. December 25th, 1923. Altoona PA, Coca-Cola bottle. Well, as you see, it came out like new. It looks like it was never actually used. This bottle is a beauty. It's a beauty. It's wonderful. No chips, no scratches, no case wear. It's perfect. And then there's that buttermilk slash possible juice bottle from Huntington, PA. It's a Dacro protected style bottle. Texture. It has a texture so they could feel it in the dark. Not accidentally grab the wrong one out of the chute and put it in someone else's porch. Now, some of these were used for juice and some of them were used for buttermilk. I would go with buttermilk on the Bensons. The little uh, cream top milk bottle. Very nice. Very rare. I don't want to give a reveal on that because that one is only one of five in the area. And I want to get the biggest price, so I'm going to keep it a surprise. Now, I found another cute little bottle today. Now, we cleaned it, and it has what's called a Bakelite lid on it. I polish it up, clean it up real nice. And this bottle says, we guarantee an ounce of alloy, not a bottle full. That's a very strange advertising slogan. We guarantee an ounce of alloy, not a bottle full. Okay. So, I guess whatever that metallic alloy was in there, or whatever alloy was in there, it uh, mm -hmm, it was just one ounce. Now, I found another pretty cool Lysol bottle. Nice Lysol. See, Lysol, cork top. It has Lysol on the shoulder three times. Maybe four, four times on the shoulder. It has a little bit of information about the company and stuff made in USA. That's something I love to see, made in USA. That's a cute little bottle. This one here had me baffled for a while. Belmont Labs Incorporated, Mazan, Philadelphia, PA, Cobalt Blue. My daughter, of course, likes that one. This bottle is an MBW, made in USA. And I believe because it has a ground inside neck and a hand applied top, the seam stops right there at the shoulder, the top was hand applied. I believe this was some type of a chemical, an iodine, or a poison bottle. So, um, what do you think it is? What did, did you, apothecary. So it's an apothecary bottle. So this had embalming fluid or it was a medical bottle? It says medicine bottle. Medicine bottle this big. It's all of two inches tall. Okay, well, she's looking stuff for me, and I, and I don't know what it is. And there's this weird bottle back there. It was a glass. It's got the original label. It's called Broadcast Wafer Sliced Beef. It's got an original label on it. It's a piece of crap, really. It's nothing special, but I just thought it was cool because it had a label. And it's an old beveled, in, internally beveled glass, so it was different. So I took it. I also took the uh, FW Fitch & Co. Barber bottle. I got two of them. Someone love, will love these barber shaker bottles. And this one is my curiosity. It's actually a yellow toned glass. Kind of a citron glass. It's yellow. It's not clear. And it's a part of a breast pump. Now, the other part was a little ball that went on the end here. A little rubber ball went over this ground glass end, sat there. It fell off. It was pretty well in bad shape, but it's not clear. This sucker is yellow. We were looking at it. We were cleaning it. It's, it, it's, it's definitely got a yellow cast to it, but we'll figure that one out later. So there you go. Reveal on some of the clean bottles, and as you see, they cleaned up real nice, really nice. They're wonderful looking condition. Uh, this one has a cream top patent, uh, March 3rd of 1925. March 3rd, 1925. You probably can't see it, but there it is. 
So once again, nice old stuff. And there's our friend. He came back. <laughs> Bubbles is back. I found a bottle. I found a... Wait a minute. I didn't find a bottle. I don't care. This is my stuff. Don't look at it. There's a bunny in that. Bubbles, what do you have a bunny upstairs for? Shh. Don't tell Bear. I got a bunny friend. She used to work in a mansion. Now she's here at my mansion. She kind of keeps me preoccupied. She really likes to blow bubbles. I heard you, Bear. I will go upstairs and I will torture that rabbit. That's okay. That's okay. She likes being tortured, Bear. Okay, everyone. I'm going to let you go. I got bottles to clean. Everything's starting to look good. Now, I want you to know I'm not done. I still got some in that bucket right there. And I got a bunch of them in here. I'm not done yet. So there you go. So y'all have a wonderful evening. And hey, you get a chance, get out and find yourself some bottles. It's fun. It's relaxing. And believe it or not extremely extremely profitable bye everyone bye everyone